Good evening. You're tuned into BizWorld. Local telecommunications service providers are committed to support the government's economy framework through affordable connectivity and devices. In a joint statement today, five telcos consisting of Cellcom DG, Maxis, Unify Mobile, U-Mobile, and Yes said they welcome the government's latest announcement on the 5G Rahma package and Rahma civil servants postpaid incentive in conjunction with the National Month celebrations. Now, the package 5G Rahma and Incentive Postpaid Rahma Punjawat Awam will be launched on August 31st and customers are advised to check the service providers' websites for the available packages. Yesterday, Communications and Digital Minister Fami Fadzil instructed all broadband internet service providers to reduce internet prices starting in September. The matter was in line with the implementation of the mandatory standard on access pricing, which would lead to a reduction in internet wholesale prices and cheaper packages. MIDF research has not discounted the possibility of Bank Negara considering more restrictive interest rates given the robust and resilient domestic demand. Now, according to the research house, spending is expected to continue growing and the services pro producer price index, as PPI, will likely sustain inflation in the coming quarters, but the moderation may continue due to the higher base effect. The SPPI averaged 114.9 points in the second quarter of 2023, an increase of 2.7% compared to 111.9 in the same quarter of the preceding year. Most subsectors recorded an increase in this quarter, particularly accommodation and food food and beverage service activities. The firm also noted Malaysia's SPPI inflation slowed to 2.7% year-on-year in the second quarter from 3.4% year-on-year in the first quarter of 2023. Maybank Investment Bank has maintained its neutral call on Malaysian shipping and ports despite the recent strength in container freight rates. The research firm remains cautious on the near-term outlook as downside risks persist due to the supply-demand imbalance in the container shipping industry, which is not expected to end soon. Peak season demand is expected to be subdued in the second half of this year due to high U.S. inventory levels, which are expected to prolong destocking activities. The market is also facing a capacity explosion with a significant increase in the container fleet, putting further pressure on shipping rates. As a result, a significant volume recovery is not anticipated until the end of 2023 or early 2024. Moving on, despite government initiatives to encourage the purchase of electric vehicles EV in Malaysia, the relatively high costs remain a hurdle to wider adoption in Malaysia. According to RHB Research, there are no EVs priced below 100,000 ringgit on the road with insurance in Malaysia currently, given that the International Trade and Industry Ministry, MITI, approved permit policy prevents the importation of EVs with a lower price tag. While EV adoption continues to grow, it has yet to reach a point where it can meaningfully boost total industry volume. RHB has a neutral rating on Malaysia's auto sector as it expects car sales to soften in 2024. Okay. Now, global air cargo demand fell 3.4% year-on-year in June this year. According to International Air Transport Association, IATA, uh, the demand also slid 8.1% in the first half of the year. IATA attributed the lower demand to the decline in global manufacturing production and export. Both Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index, PMI, and New Export Orders, PMI, fell below the critical threshold of 50 in June at 49.2 and 47.1 respectively. Global cross-border trade decreased by 2.4% in May, reflecting the cooling demand environment and challenging macroeconomic conditions. The difference between the annual growth rates of air cargo and the global goods trade narrowed to 2.6 percentage points in May, this representing the smallest gap since January last year. That's all the time we have for BizWorld this evening. I'm Sabrina Zainal. Thanks for investing your time with us.